Over the last two years, homelessness among women has gone up 22%. And at the same time, government funding for long-term beds has gone down, created a huge crisis. The people I was staying with that I sold drugs to, they gave me a room, but they stole everything I had. That was rock bottom for me. I gave my body for a roof over my head, even if it was a tent. I did whatever I had to do. I was sleeping in a garage, on a garage floor, with my son. We had to do something about this, so we did. We opened this life change center for women and their children. The purpose of this center is to provide a safe, healing home for them. We were downtown at the mission, and uh, that was great. We had the fourth floor with the men but it's not a really good environment for children. So we wanted to move a to a place where we could have women with kids and more women. So this is the uh, place that we moved. It's an awesome place in Beaverton, and we can have up to 25 women and we can have children. So I wanna take you guys down here and show you the children's center. When the moms are in classes or counseling, then the kids can come here and stay at the children's center. We have volunteers that come in and help with this. So this is the young kids are on this side. As you can see, they've got toys and we've been getting books and things donated for them. So um, this will be where they stay. So this is our living room. We meet here every morning, Monday through Friday at nine o'clock for a community meeting. We have devotions and we talk and we catch up, get ready for the day. This is a family room and this is where two elementary school age boys sleep right here. They come from a garage that was not heated, uh, was very cold, their youngest had asthma, was always sick, and the school system actually referred them to me. Um, they have had a life-changing experience here. They're safe, they're warm, she's so excited to have her own room. But a building is just a building. What it's really all about are families like Melinda and her children. When Melinda was in our downtown location, there was no room for her kids, but opening up this center, we could bring them in with Melinda. It feels great to have my children here. We're family again. They're learning the new skills and things that I'm learning here, life skills and way to communicate with people, way to handle things, prayer about God. When I came back with my mom, I felt super duper happy. A new facility, more women and children, it means more meals and also more expenses. We did our part, we responded, and I want to invite you to respond. It takes everyone coming together. Please join us. If Life Change hadn't been here for me and my children, um, I would be in prison probably right now and not in their life at all. So um, I'm grateful for Life Change. If it wasn't for people like you guys, we wouldn't have a chance. You guys make it so that we have a second chance. And that's really cool.